What up? So with the Master Chief Collection coming out soon, I thought it'd be interesting to talk about the Halo games that are not in the collection. So let's start off with Halo Wars. So first of all, I don't think this game should have even, even been in the collection. So why am I talking about it? Well, just because I have it. So Halo Wars, as you may or may not know, is the, an RTS. And uh, I think it's the game that mostly gets like forgotten about Halo-wise, I guess. I believe it's the only like console Halo game that's not made by Bungie. Well, I guess 343 made Halo 4, but yeah. Anyways, check out these sweet cutscenes. These are by the same people, Blur, who are doing the new cutscenes for Halo 2 Anniversary. I actually didn't know that until very recently. So yeah, check out this awesomeness. Bam! Dead. Alright, and well, let's go over the menus and stuff. Some gameplay and yeah. Alright, so let's go over the main menu real quick. As you see, it looks very familiar to the Halo 3 one. Because this came the year after Halo 3 came out, 2008. So here you can see there's a tutorial. You got the same old difficulties. You actually got a good amount of story missions. It has 15 total. You got your co-op. You can play over Xbox Live or System Link. And then here's a the theater to go watch all those sweet cutscenes. Now here's Skirmish. Skirmish? I can't say it. Or you can play against an AI player if you want to do that. And check this out. Blood Gulch. What? And there's a bunch of... There's actually a good amount of maps that you could play on. You got Deathmatch and Standard. Deathmatch just gives you all the upgrades right away. If that's your thing, you could play that. And here's a quick look at the characters. So humans. You see they each get a unique unit. A uh, leader power. And a super unit. And then they got a freaking bonus. They seem pretty overpowered. While the Covenant only get a unique unit and a leader power. And the Covenant characters actually show up on the battle. I guess they're like an actual unit you could move around. Well, humans you can't. Covenant get more population. Or more units they could build right off the bat. I don't know, it's pretty weird. But mostly people choose humans. So here's these uh, this Halo timeline, which is pretty cool. We can learn more about like the Halo backstory if you're that's your thing. Pretty neat. And now let's check out the multiplayer. But real quick, here's your service record, which shows like your progress in the campaign. You found the skull and black box. Your score, and this shows your rank, how much many how many more points you need to rank up. Which maps you've played on, how many times you went on that map. It's pretty cool. And on here on the uh, act, uh, multiplayer uh, menu, you can see you can play 1v1, 2v2, 3v3, and a surprisingly a good amount of players still playing. 975 it says on top right. I'm surprised, I thought it would have been like 100 or something, but yeah. It's pretty cool. You can still play, find games real quick. And here you can play public, private, or the campaign online. Good stuff. Alright, so let's take a look at the, mo at the actual gameplay. So this is just a quick scrimmage against an AI guy on Blood Gulch. Yeah! So here's your base. Here I'm building the different buildings. Where you get uh, ground troops, you got vehicles, and you got air. And you have these turrets to protect your base. Here you can build warhogs right off the bat. And here you can have units get uh, supplies. There's some supplies in, uh, on the actual map. But you're supposed to, su uh, supposed to build supply pads, supply pads, which I don't do. But here are the different vehicles. You can build Scorpion Tank, Wolverine, Cobra. Each have a specialization. I believe the tank is good against uh, ground troops. You see a different type of turrets. Alright, so skipping ahead, I've got enough units now. Woohoo! 
So you could uh, take over AI bases on the map in order to expand or get another base. So here you just blow it up. It's pretty easy. As long as you have a good amount, actually. If you're dumb and you go in right away with only a few units, of course, you'll die. And so the building's destroyed. And now you get to build it in 20 seconds. So you just have to wait. So skipping ahead, now I can build it. And here I'm showing how you select units. Meanwhile, so you go either paintbrush like you saw there, double tap A to select all of those type. So all warhogs, for example, or say all units and scroll between all the all the units. And you can see the base built. And here I'm showing off these uh, the Spartan units, which are pretty cool. You can put them in vehicles, and they'll make basically make them way better. As you see, I put a Spartan in the, uh, what is it, Falcon? Hornet? No, it's Hornet, right? Yep. And here I'm showing you could mark stuff by clicking down the stick. I forget which one. We could do it, and you can zoom in. Yep. So I'm gathering all my guys. Let's go. Oh yeah, never mind. Are you in? Ah. And I'm showing... Oh, you put Spartans in there again. So here, we're attacking the base, finally. You can see the Covenant stuff. They get shields. Here's a Wraith. So get them. Get them, dudes. Set my base under attack. What? Nothing's there. Here I'm showing the leader powers. So here's the Mac rounds. Bam, bam. Devastating. And those recharge after a while. You might see right there the Arbiter with the dual swords. It's basically a really strong unit, the leader unit that Covenant get. Yeah, he, he has like a special power to activate too. Here I'm using my cutters, uh, my character's special, is which is ODST, which you could drop whenever you want, wherever you want. Well, at least as, as long as the area is lit up. And yeah, you destroy. All units have a special power. Just as long as they're selected, you tap Y and they'll use it. Like ODST to shoot rockets. Uh, the tank shoots a cluster bomb. And there we go. We defeated him. And that's basically the gameplay. But you know what's better? Playing Halo Wars offline with Risk Halo Wars Edition. Yeah. So you open it up. You got this this sweet manual. You know, it's got a few rules. A few rules. You know, some light reading. Real quick. Just, just the information you need to know. Then check out all these sweet pieces you get. Whoa. Now, here's the map. Which is pretty sweet. But there's a glare. There's a thing on the top corner. You can see right there. And this map is actually, I mean, it looks like a new map, but really it's just an upside down version of the regular Risk map. See? Remember that area up in the glare? Well, that's Australia. Whoa. So yeah, you may see the, how similar it is. So compared to pieces, this is the lame, boring pieces from the regular Risk game. Boo. And here are the sweet, awesome pieces from the Halo Wars version. Oh yeah. Along with the hero piece, which the regular risk doesn't have. Spartan. So here's the Covenant. You see they have a grunt, which is a giant grunt. It's bigger than a damn wraith. And an even giant editor. Elite. Here's the Flood. You got a Flood Spore, that one that like pops, and a Juggernaut. I, I don't remember seeing them in the game, but there it is. And that's Halo Wars. So, it's a pretty cool RTS game, but like I said before, it wouldn't fit with the collection since, you know, it's an RTS and not a first-person shooter. But uh, it's a neat game overall. You should check it out if you want. As you saw, there's still plenty of population. And yeah, hope you enjoy this. See you next time.